Hi everybody, Crystal with Head to Toe. I'm making a batch of Ocean Breeze soap today. It's a fragrance oil that I'm using. <laughs> Going to add my lye water here. Gonna mix that a little bit before I turn on the stick blender. I'm adding a little bit of blue lab color to this mixture for the ocean breeze scent. The blue is not working so well, so I'm going to get another color. Okay, I went and I got a green mica. I'm not going to add that much to it. very light, but I'm okay with that. I would have preferred it to be darker, but <laughs> my batter here is getting quite thick and I just want to deal with it sooner than later. This is my fragrance oil, the ocean breeze. Normally I add a little bit in at a time, but again, my batter here is getting pretty thick, so just want to get it in there. This is more of um, a manly scent, I find. It's been quite popular with some of my male customers. So I'm glad I decided not to do swirls with this batch because I'll just show you here. It's very, very, very thick. We're going to have to glop it into the mold. Sometimes when we use fragrance oils, this happens. The soap is still fine to use, but it's just a little bit messier and harder to deal with when you're putting it in the mold.
Okay, I think I got out everything that I'm going to get out here. And the one thing I just realized is that I am not wearing gloves, which is a big no-no. I obviously forgot to put them on. So I will be doing that in my next batches for sure. So because this one is so thick, it's going to be easy to do something on the tops here. This is another one of my challenges here is the tops. I watch other soap makers in their videos with their tops and they just turn out so nice and I struggle with my tops sometimes. Alright, I think that is it for this batch. Just show you, I'll wipe off my finger here, then I'll show you the tops. Nothing fancy with this soap, just basic soap. Alright, thanks for watching.